most people have no idea how much sodium they ingest. They just eat. You may be one of them. Since salt plays a huge role in heart health, you at least have to have a rough idea whether you're on high sodium, normal sodium, or low sodium diet. But that's difficult. Unless you dedicate your time to tracing your sodium intake throughout the day, you simply won't know. And putting in sodium numbers on your phone every time you eat may not be a favorite activity. I don't blame you. It's not mine either. Fortunately, there is an easier way to tell whether your salt intake needs attention. All you need to do is name your food favorites. In North America, sodium rarely comes from a salt shaker. People who make food at home seldom have salt problem because 70% of all sodium comes from food processing, not from cooking at home. For that reason, if you don't cook at home, but eat out or buy processed foods, your diet is likely high in the sodium category. Let's see your food favorites. Are they on the high salt list? Some popular foods are very high in sodium, even if they don't taste salty. If you eat them regularly, you're very likely over the daily salt limit. Among those salt monsters are breads and rolls, like dinner rolls. For example, Whole Foods Organic 100% whole wheat sandwich bread, which sounds very healthy, and Pepperidge Farm bread have one of the highest salt content. Eating just one slice of those is like eating 22 potato chips. Pizza. One slice of pizza has about 700 milligrams of sodium, so three pizza slices make up for the entire sodium ration for the day. Sandwiches, such as hamburgers and hot dogs and subs. For example, one hot dog sandwich is over one gram of sodium, which is half of recommended daily dose. And one sub is far more, about 1600 milligrams. Next in line are cold cuts and cured meats, such as deli, packaged ham and turkey. Imagine two thin slices of turkey deli meat is just half a gram, which is not far off from a pizza slice. And finally, ready-made soups. Did you know that one can can have more sodium than one or even two slices of pizza? Whoa, that's a lot! How about other salt monsters like uh, burritos and tacos? Snack foods like chips, crackers, microwave popcorn, and pretzels. Processed chicken products. Cheese, and that includes processed cheese. Or egg dishes and omelets, which they are not made at home. Did you find your food favorites on the list? The bottom line is that if you regularly eat sandwiches, pizzas, and other delights listed earlier, good chances are you're on a high salt diet. And not because your body needs it, but because salt is a huge part of food processing. Do you know that you can dramatically reduce your sodium intake without compromising taste? How? Cook at home. It's healthy and it's sexy. And for the God's sakes, just stop eating junk. Home cooking is easy and I guarantee you you can become a kitchen magician even if you have two fully developed left hands. If you have no clue how to start, I have a great solution for you. 69 Pleasures, a fantastic cookbook for lazy cooks with high taste aspirations. Get it today. It will make your kitchen smell wonderful and your heart will sing. Oh, and don't forget to click subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you again.